My name is Jenny Parker. My role at RNAB is to work with transport operators uh, to make transport more accessible for people who are blind and partially sighted. For a blind and partially sighted person who's on a bus journey, there are many ways of identifying when they're reaching the destination point. On some buses, there are visual display signs which tell you the next stop information. And on a few buses, there are also audio announcements. Next stop, Forest Recreation Ground. My name is Liz Silver. I'm registered blind and I'm a long cane user. There's various ways of making sure um, that I know when I've arrived at my stop and I'm getting off at the right place. Generally, you know, sort of if you know a bus is going to take, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour to get to somewhere, then when it sort of starts getting close to that time, I'll start sort of thinking, mm, might need to get off soon. I'd look out for landmarks and things like roundabouts or maybe traffic calming, um, bends in the road, that sort of thing. My name is Ian Godsmark, I've got retina pigmentosis and now I've got eyesightitis. Sometimes when I've been on a bus with a friend, we'll use GPS technology so we know exactly where we are on the bus so we know when to get off. When you're on your journey and you know that your stop is coming up soon, then you need to press uh, the bell press button which will basically put in your stop request. Um, these buttons are generally in very good colour and contrast, um, usually yellow and red in colour, although it will vary again depending on operator. And they often have tactile markers on as well, so you know um, it's, it's the bell press. I mean quite often there's a bell on a pole fairly frequently. Um, and again if you're not sure, if you've got someone sitting next to you, then I think it's a good thing to ask. And when you're ready to get off the bus, if you're using mobility aid, then use that to assist you in terms of gauging the, different, the distance between the bus and the kerb, and also to determine actually if there are any direct obstacles in front of you before you get off. Um, again, if the distance is too large um, for you to comfortably get off, then just ask the bus driver to activate the ramp. I think if someone was nervous about using a bus, I'd suggest that they find out as much information as possible about the route, about how long the journey will take whether the bus has got announcements, um, just to familiarise themselves with um, things as much as possible. Bus travel doesn't have to be a daunting experience and many blind and partial sighted people use the bus daily, whether that's to get to work or enjoy social activities. So give bus travel a go. Um, the newfound confidence it could give you could open up a whole world of opportunities for you. RNIB knows that bus travel is essential for getting out and about, but it can seem daunting for some blind or partially sighted people. We've made four films that will help you to get started or to be a more confident bus traveller. They show some tools which people may find useful when trying to travel by bus. We know, however, these are not appropriate for everyone which is just one of the reasons why we are working with bus operators to improve their service, so that all blind and partially sighted people can travel safely and independently. If you'd like more information about travelling by bus or any other form of transport, visit rnib.org.uk forward slash travel. RNIB, supporting blind and partially sighted people.